People are wondering what a pagan priest is and does. Well, I'm still sort of working those details out because there aren't that many of us. I have joined the Pagan Federation, and I'm pleased to be a part of that. They've accepted me, and I will send my money in English pounds as soon as possible. I have to make a little bit of money of what I do and what I sell. I will also check my pockets this morning to see what has been stolen from me in the night. You see, apparently people who are thieves feel that they are not liable to the Lord. And interestingly enough, whether or not a person is a pagan, whether or not a person is an atheist, whether or not a person is a Christian or claims to be one, whether or not a person is a Lutheran, a Catholic, a Methodist, or any other predilection of the world, Hindi, what have you, Buddhist, Shintoist, Taoist, whatever their predilection for religion is, every single human being on the planet will be going back to stand before the Lord. You see, it doesn't matter whether you believe in God, you'll still stand before the Lord. And when you stand before the Lord and you stand before Jesus Christ, you're going to have to stand there and tell the Lord why you chose to play a game on someone's life. You're also going to have to stand before the Lord and try and justify why you thought you could take someone's wife from them. You're going to have to stand before the Lord, and that's one of me. I, I took a man's wife from her, and I'll have to be standing before the Lord on that one for my first spouse of many, many years. But I produced a loving relationship with her and our son, and I miss him a great deal. But that's not the point, and I will stand before the Lord for my discipline of him. He will stand before the Lord for his misbehavior in front of me. You see, it's not about what we do right now. It's about what we will stand for. And when a man who's in the law enforcement office stands before the Lord, he will literally be standing before the Lord for torturing a man, for violating the mind that the Lord made for him. He will stand before the Lord for raping him. He will stand before the Lord for molesting him. He will stand before the Lord in a way he's never thought of. That when we say that Jesus is living within us, he literally has just proven, without a shadow of a doubt, that he's just raped Jesus. You see, once a person becomes a child of the God through his own choice, his own faith, his own belief system, he literally has Jesus within him. So these men and women who've been playing this game in law enforcement and mental health groups and all this who claim to be religious, they are actually going to have to stand before Jesus explaining to Jesus why they lied in record, why they placed people on someone's path to harm them, and why they literally allowed a rape to occur in a jail cell and in the real world, and why they were feeling that they had the right to ruin a person's control over their own mind with audiophiles, to force someone to sleep, to force someone to not remember their lies. So please take the time now to look at your life, to review your life, and decide what will you stand for. When you stand before the Lord Most High, what are you going to be explaining to him about your life? That you purposefully and intentionally pursued someone, raped them, molested them, stole from them, maligned them, and destroyed them with your words in records.